Hey man, say man, it's your boy Big Dreams. Welcome back to the channel. Before we carry on any further with this video, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment. Most importantly, make sure y'all subscribe and hit that post notification bell. Set it to all, man. We is back with another banger video, back with another reaction video, man. And today we are reacting to how Drake just tried to come back against Kendrick Lamar. We finna dig in here and see what's going on. I'm not gonna make the opening of this video too long. All I ask is that y'all smash that like button so this video up right higher in the algorithm. Go crazy in the comments. Let me know what you want me to react to. And if you're watching me and you're not subscribed, man, subscribe. That's all I ask. We finna go ahead and get into this video, man. Career being at the lowest point it has ever been. All due to both the continuous barrage of diss tracks, performances, and music videos from Kendrick Lamar. And also the fact that every song he has released since his beef with Kendrick hasn't just been a musical train wreck in terms of their quality but that they have also all flopped when it comes to gaining any sort of traction as hits. Things have never looked worse for Drake, as his status as a musical force has never been weaker, but now, after taking about a month off from releasing music and trying to manipulate the public opinion of hip-hop culture through major figures like DJ Academics and many others to try and portray this image that Drake hasn't just ever been better, but that he has generational music on the way. It's clear that despite how broken down and pathetic Drake's career looks right now, this has not stopped him from trying to change the narrative around his entire legacy at the moment and still. Try to level the score against Kendrick in any way he can, but as Drake even at this point has probably realized that he cannot defeat Kendrick in a direct lyrical matchup. This has left him trying to defeat him through a much different method, which for Drake... I'm gonna say this right here, man, just to kind of capitalize off of what he just said. This is the thing with Drake right here. The music that you drop from now on you got to take that serious. It ain't just no get in there, write what you think sound good, put it on a track, put it out. No, this is personal. Everything that you drop after this from here on out for some time has to be personal. Because Kendrick has control of the narrative right now, bro. Drake going to have to really, really get in there, put your best rhymes on a track, and drop it, bro. Because if he won't control of that narrative back, Everything from here on out that you drop has to be fire. It can't be trash. It can't be trash. You can't put out trash after what he just did. After what Kendrick just did to Drake, Drake can't put out no kind of trash from here on out, bro. Everything you put out has to be the one. Like, for real, bro. If you want to gain control back of the narrative and take that control away from Kendrick, bro, Everything Drake drop has to be fire from here on out. Makes the goal for him to shift. No trash beats, no trash music. Here. It's, it's got to be fire. Of doing this, Drake wants to snatch the title of Song of the Summer and probably what will go down as Song of the Year at the current rate in Not Like Us from Kendrick with a moment of his own that is even more memorable than that track. And now at this point, as Drake is no longer being dragged down by artists who don't have the same hit making sensibilities and platforms as in like Sexy Red and Camila Cabello. And he is just locked in the studio, giving us music where he is now the sole vocalist. The chances have never been greater for Drake to release a hit that can do wonders for his reputation. Being aware that his back is against the wall on some level right now. In response to the pressure, Drake has released not just one, but two brand new tracks that are actively working to defuse one of the most dangerous and damaging rap songs to another artist's reputation that there ever has been, and in this moment, we're true. We've got passion, we've got determination. And I'm going to say this too, man. Maybe, and, and just maybe at one point in time, Drake could have dropped a track where he's singing, doing whatever, and it goes stupid. We at a different point in time now where you just came off of one of the most excruciating beefs in rap history in 2024. Kendrick just destroyed you with Not Like Us, bro. Kendrick, li listen, and this is my sole opinion, bro. That was a one hit a quitter, man. But it's not the end. Everybody makes it seem like it's the end for Drake, but I really don't think it's the end for Drake. Drake just has to be strategic about what he puts out and how he put it together. It's really all about how he puts it together, bro. Because that's something that knocked you like a hundred steps back. But you can put some out that'll put you 150 steps back into the game. Literally. That's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Forget what y'all got to say. Y'all can get on my head about it. 
I honestly think that he can make a comeback. I'm not the biggest Drake fan, but I do feel as if he can make a comeback. I'm man enough to admit that Not Like Us was a one hitter quitter in that moment for Drake. And it did give Kendrick the upper hand and he still has the upper hand. But do I think it's the end? No. Do I think Drake can make a comeback? Yes, but only if he puts together something that can blow Not Like Us out the water. That's the only way. That's the only way. That's the only way. Tracks which both appear on producer literally the only way album titled Sideways and Healing managed to take everything going on with Drake right now and somehow make things even worse because in this moment where Drake is at this point where his entire career is falling apart he does not lean into the aspects of his artistry that may have made for easy hits like his pop rap bag or with the infectious type of melodic rapping that is made up for the other portion of his greatest hits and instead Drake leads into the sound of what is without a doubt his most polarizing, and in many people, including my own, his worst album, Honestly Never Mind Style. And as Drake was already showing that he was going to dive into this sound more, as his Camila Cabello collabs were already leaning this way, all of this tells us is that the flop of those songs have not taught Drake one thing, because he is now only going deeper into a musical bag that really nobody wants to hear from him. And especially not in this time where Kendrick has really just made it lame to even listen to Drake. And now I will be fair to Drake in one regard. Sideways and Healing are way better than any other tracks he has released since the beef, as Gordo's production is actually pretty well executed here, as he clearly understands how to make great dance and house music sonically. But even with this, this is nowhere near enough to make an anthem that can compete on the charts and carry a Drake record into cultural relevance during this moment in time, and as there is not one but two tracks that showcase this massive issue with Drake, we see that even after all of his other failures recently, he has still not been able to recognize the reason why his new music is flopping, which seriously has to leave you concerned about the future of Drake's career when it comes to even being a fraction of the commercial force that he once was beyond everything else. As while these tracks are a step up from the incredibly low par that Drake had set before this, this does not mean they are even the slightest bit good, because aside from Gordo's solid production, the vocal work from Drake is so generic and complacent that just like on Honestly Never Mind, we hear Drake take one of the most lively and energetic subcultures in all of music, and just morph and crush its spirit with some of the most lazy and tiring performances you can find, and this is really where all of his struggles are coming from. I mean, Drake has purposefully switched to a lane right now where he really doesn't even need to care about lyrics. And everything is just about melodies and vibes, and even with that, it just feels like Drake is not even swinging to try and do anything here other than double down on what has defined what most people call the worst album he has ever released. And with Drake's lack of recognition to this problem, from these songs to the ones before them, as every single new track that comes out from Drake just has less of that magic that made Drake records before this at the very minimum, whether you loved or hated them, viral and infectious moments. Now he just sounds so lazy and tired with everything he is doing and not in the way he used to before. When it just and goes- see, look, that's, that's the issue right there. That's going to be the big issue. That's what's going to keep him where he's at. And I'm speaking from an aspect of the people. I'm not speaking from an aspect of how this rapper looks at him or how that rapper look at him. Now, I'm looking at him from the stance of the people because at the end of the day, that's really where it matters. That's really where your numbers matter. You know what I'm saying? And from now on, like, that lazy energy of... You ain't going your hardest on the song, bro. Like, you need to be trying to dog on near tear the whole soundboard apart when you go in there and rap. Like, <laughs> some energy, some passion got to be put into his music from now on, bro. If he want to win his position back with the people, he, he going to have to put his all into that music, bro. I'm being serious. I don't know what he writing or what strategic plans he coming up with as far as music, music videos, whatever the case may be. But if what Buddy just said is true, if he just like putting out that lazy jump, bro, that's not gonna get you control of the narrative. The control that he needs, all that lazy mess ain't gonna get it for him. music purposefully safe just to keep everything in line to gain the most streams by simply being the most palatable artist out there in his lane. But now it sounds like Drake has genuinely lost the remaining strengths he had, as these songs are just so boring and based on the response people are already giving them. 
Well, Drake fans are convincing themselves that he is back and that he is on to better things now that he is done beefing with Kendrick. For everyone else, we are watching an artist struggle to find an identity to exist in. He is plummeting beyond just being a lazy, complacent, or even just for his own standards. An artist whose musical quality is no longer on par with the ceilings they once reached. But now most crucially to the Drake brand, he is becoming an artist that is no longer even entertaining in the slightest. And with this factor of entertainment really being the driving denominator of why Drake has still found success for about the past decade of his career, because we all know that through some of the most ridiculous music he has released, while well, nobody really thinks it's good, it has always been interesting enough that through the crazy music videos, covers, weird hooks, and lyrics that overall, with just the pure virality and trendiness everything he did was always designed with, no matter what musical gimmick he was implementing, it was always able to be at the center of everything because it played to the factors of what garnered the most streams and engagements in this digital era of music, but he's no longer even doing this as now. Even this part of Drake's skill set feels compromised as it has vanished. And with the quality being so down the drain at this point, and Drake now feeling like this lifeless avatar that is just phoning things in to try to keep up this impression to himself that he is still doing great, which I think he also thinks is tricking the world into thinking that this beef has never hurt him, which everything else from the numbers to just the public opinion clearly disagrees with. All in all, this is just really sad at this point, because we are watching an artist who was once at the center of everything lose the ability to even be the slightest bit memorable, and all of this really makes you put into perspective just how monumental this beef was, because aside from music Kendrick gave us that was great, and Drake and Kendrick's initial back and forth, the ripple effects of this beef have been much more significant than most other feuds in rap have genuinely ended up, because where in 2018, for example, after Drake vs. Pusha T, Drake came back and released one of his most successful albums ever with Scorpion and went on to drop an array of number one hits that summer, which definitely limited the impact and damage of what Push did on some level. For Drake now, he no longer has that same touch to just be the hit factory that he was as his feature stimulus package is gone, and the grip he had on the pulse of what is trending and he should jump on to make massive hits has vanished as well and overall. With us being now at this point, with the Camila Cabello songs and now these two tracks all leading to the fact that at this point in time, the summer is either over for Drake and he will be taking more time off from here, or that he is going to be releasing something like Honestly Nevermind 2 in the coming weeks. Either way, with music releases like these, we have seen Drake just redefine what it means to be a loser in rap beef, and as he has failed again to shift the tides just one bit in terms of what is hot and what records people are streaming. All of this is only getting more pathetic on his end, and who knows how much lower he will end up sinking at this rate. Now with all that said, let me know, what do you think of these new Drake songs, and do you think that he will ever be able to come back in terms of just being able to make music that can actually garner attention like it once did? I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and if you want to see how Kendrick Lamar is scaring more rappers beyond Drake in a way that is going to affect the near future of the genre as people are just crumbling in fear of it, check out the suggested video. I'm gonna say this right here, man. It's like with Drake, he honestly, hold on, like with with Drake, bro. I'm gonna just say this right here because I'm I'm not gonna really too much spend too much extra time <laughs> explaining my unpopular opinion. With Drake, the energy and the the thought that's put into the music, it can't be. Lazy, it can't be just oh yeah, let me put this on a beat like nah bro. Kendrick has put Drake in a spot where Drake has to go into overdrive from now on until he can shift the narrative or uh, until he can shift the control of the narrative back into his hands, back into his playing field. If Drake if he is coming out with an album or whatever music he's dropped. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to go look it up if he did drop some music. But if he's finna drop anything else, moving forward, Drake need to go into overdrive with putting effort into what he's putting out, bro. Cause like I said, just a few seconds ago, Kendrick has put Drake into a spot where his comeback, Drake finna have to get his comeback out the mud, straight up. This comeback, he'll finna have to come out the mud for Drake, in my opinion. But man, look, listen, this is the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment. Most importantly, make sure y'all subscribe and hit that post notification bell. Set it to all. All social media links will be in the description. The link to the previous reaction video will also be there as well. 
Follow me on all my social medias. Click the link to the previous reaction video and watch that whole video after you watch this whole video. I'm still putting the Sean Armour stuff in the description. The website is still down. I'm going to let y'all know when that website is back up so y'all can get back on there, man. If you were ordering your stuff so you can use the promo code with it as well. But that's besides the point. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all for showing me love back. And we out this thing, man. For real.